Aston Martin always will race. It always has raced, always will race. And somebody needs to carry that torch. And we use the Vantage to do that. We've participated in, in many race series, but probably our most successful race series has been what now is described as the, the durability racing of WEC. Even as, as late as 2016, a WEC team champion and 2017 Le Mans win, all coming from a car which was actually quite old. We've decided to replace the current Vantage road car and since it's really necessary to take race technology from the track to the road and from the road to the track, it's really important that we design simultaneously both the road car and the track car. One gives to the other and takes from the other. It's always important that you have a champion and Vantage is our champion. We've been working on the new race car now for around 10 months. The process on this particular project with the latest GTE, it's a lot closer working with the designers up at Gaydon. So we get all of the production vehicle CAD data. We can manipulate that, we can change that, and use that as we see fit. Every single part on the car undergoes some finite element analysis so we get a true representation of what happens on track. Competitive race cars are best done when you start thinking about what they are from the very beginning of the base car development. So what you want is a very stiff structure. The good news is as we think forward to what future Vantage will look like, it's a very stiff structure. The latest generation of Aston Martin aluminium bonded chassis are much lighter, much stiffer and we start with that. Another part that we share between the production car and the, the race car is the engine of course and the next V8 Vantage carries a, an AMG V8 twin turbo engine which presents challenges in itself because heat management is going to be critical for the new car but the new engine will be a big step forward for the car. We've all been waiting as a design team, as a, as a complete race team for this moment for a long time. We haven't done a new GTE car to take to the likes of Porsche and Ferrari for a number of years now. We've been evolving the old car and people can't wait to get parts and start building this car. First week in August now, or less than two weeks away from the first shakedown. Already we, we picked up the chassis only a number of weeks ago. We've already put the roll cage in there, made all the chassis trims that we need to fit all the other components. First job was the fuel system, so you can see the fuel tank is in there, all the protective covers are in there. All the wiring is mocked up on the chassis because this can't really be done in CAD. So this is very much uh, labour intensive, making everything neat. The runs as short as possible so everything is as light as possible to ensure that the centre of gravity is as low as possible. And we've got the new dampers on there, so it's a new partnership with Olin's for, for 2018. Including the suspension we've obviously got a new deal with Alcon Brakes. They have supplied bespoke calipers and discs for us. They've been working flat out as well just to get these from scratch, designed, optimised and on the car ready for the shakedown. Engine is testing on the dyno at the moment. They're running through the oil system to make sure all the oil flows, pressure drops are all correct and then they're now running through all the calibration, just the fueling, just to make sure everything is up to scratch and then optimising the performance.
here in sunny Florida, Sebring, having a go with the new baby, pounding around, doing a lot of mileage on the car, and just to see if everything is doing its work and it's lasting, of course. It's really exciting for me. Obviously, I'm coming into my first year of Aston Martin racing. So far, I've loved every single lap that I've driven. So far, it's been mega. We've not really had to do anything special to the cast because it's just been on it straight away from when we put it on track, basically. Not comparable to the current, all the Vantage, much stiffer, much more durability, especially on the, on the engine side because this is a turbo engine, so you definitely feel the torque of the, the engine uh, compared to the normal aspirated V8. You know, aerodynamically it's got a lot of downforce, but there's big power coming from the engine as well, so from our side it's a, it's a pleasure to drive. Well, it's just up to date now. The, the old car was getting to the point where we, we maximized everything out of it basically, and with this one we start on a point and you can only, like you're only improving, 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 and that's the nice part about it. So the launch is in 10 days now and it's in London, it's a big launch, it's the road car, the new Vantage and alongside it will be this race car you can hear going around in the background and that will be launched at the same time. It's been hard work, it's been a long time, all the team back at the factory and the test team, it's been a long, long 18 months but to get here and listen to it pounding around at Sebring is fantastic. Your fact that we have to win Le Mans and we have to win the World uh, Championship next year. That's that's no doubt about it. It's going to be special to be part of it. I'm sure we're going to be right up there in the mix to fight for the championship. We're here in Brick Lane and finally it's the launch of the, the race car and the road car, the new Vantage. For all the drivers and quite a lot of the team members, it's the first time we actually get to see the car in all its glory. So, very exciting time. It's a step up and it not only looks good, it drives so well as well. It just looks absolutely fantastic. You get up nice and close and it just, just looks absolutely amazing. And to see them both in the same colour scheme really reflects well from what's a road car then race car and uh, yeah, they, they both look absolutely stunning, really, really nice. I think we've given the car a great berth. It's going to go and compete in its first season in 2018. I certainly believe that we'll see the car holding up some nice trophies and some nice silverware. This car has been designed from the beginning as a race car. I'm immensely confident in the pedigree of this car and what it will achieve for us on and off the track.